Is Tu Bishvat a real holiday? Well, the answer is, it is not, but it became one. What do I mean? For thousands of years, Jews were standing in places like I'm standing now, in the snow, in the sleet, in the rain, all over the world. And so the Rosh Hashanah Le'ilanot, the fact that Tu Bishvat is an agricultural holiday, a holiday that marks the beginning of the new year for trees from for perspective of halachic issues and, and, and a variety of issues, didn't really matter because we didn't live in Israel, we weren't owners of land, and it didn't matter that much. A hundred years ago, when Jews started moving back to Israel, planting trees, working the land, producing uh, uh, produce, grapes, oranges, whatever it may be, suddenly the holiday of Tu Bishvat itself got a revival, it got a new life. It became a time that we can celebrate again after 2,000 years of not having much to do on Tu Bishvat. Once again, it is a holiday, holiday, so whether you observe it by eating a new fruit, by planting trees in Israel, by whatever it may be, I wish you a happy Tu Bishvat. We should celebrate not only the fruits and the trees, but also the ability for a renewed generation to live in the land of Israel, even though we may not all be there. Uh, but the ability to live there, to plant trees, to uh, produce, to really engage in the agricultural process is something we must all celebrate. Happy Tu Bishvat.